This episode will be covering the mysterious death of Lauren A.G. Accident or murder? Lauren was a beautiful 21 year old at the prime of her life. Everything was snatched away from her in an instant, one fateful night. She was the one who every girl wanted to be and every guy wanted to date. At the time, Lauren was studying criminal science while still living at home with her parents. The nightmare started with a simple request. Lauren had asked her mum if she could go to Wakefest, a wet and wild three-day party on Centreville Lake, two hours outside of Nashville. Hundreds of fans cheer on pro wakeboarders during the day and party all night, then camp out on houseboats and cabins around the local marina. Lorna had planned to go with Hannah Palmer. Instantly her mum was concerned. Hannah was a friend that was only around Lauren in between boyfriends. Lorna had initially told her, her mum that they would be sleeping in a cabin. This never happened. Things changed after she got there. A change that would cost Lauren her life. Lauren and Hannah were primed and ready to party, documenting their journey on social media. Wakefest lived up to the hype. Lauren was drinking and having a good time. Soon Lauren and Hannah hook up with two more friends, Hannah's new boyfriend, Aaron Lilly, and one of his mates, Christopher Stoat, who was a stranger to both girls. Lauren, Hannah, Aaron and Chris hung out at the bar for most of the night. Around two o'clock in the morning, the four head out. It's bedtime. Lauren soon le- learns there are new sleeping arrangements, up on a narrow cliff surrounded by water. The cliff is a stomach-churning 90 feet above the lake and down a 45-foot drop the other. Once up there, you sleep in a hammock tied loosely between two trees, dangling right out over the water. Once at the cliff top, there's more partying around 3am. Christopher and Lauren bunk together in the hammock. When the sun comes up in the morning, Lauren is gone, nowhere to be seen. fallen off the face of the earth in the middle of the night, last seen in a hammock 90 feet above the lake. Something happened up there. All that's left are her shoes and phone. Instead of reporting her missing, Hannah told authorities she must have just gone back to the bar. Hannah, Aaron and Christopher went about their day as normal. Later that fateful day, two fishermen found Lauren's body floating in a cove, face down.